in high definition. This is News Channel 5, first at 4. Check out this photo of a sunrise in Kirkwood. Photojournalist Terry Kruger, who works on our newscast first at four every day, editing video, takes snapshots of sunrises like this all the time. She loves tweeting them. She shares them on Facebook. She's just one of those morning people. And Terry, that means you're probably happier than those who don't consider themselves morning people. At least that's the finding of a study out of the University of Toronto. And we just had to ask our sleep expert, Dr. Joseph Ogile, CEO of the Clayton Sleep Institute, to come in and talk about this. So the study out of Toronto said that morning people are more positive, they're more upbeat, and they based it on the study of young and old adults, basically saying that most of the adults reported being morning people, only 7% of them, I think, were night owls, and that they were happier than the young adults who the majority reported being night owls, they weren't quite as happy. Is there really something to all this morning people, night owl deal? There may, there may be, there is a little bit to it. The, the issue that's really interesting and sort of compelling for us in day-to-day -day practice is that, first of all, people that are morning people tend to align their sleep behavior, their biological rhythm, which makes them be like that, with their lifestyles. So people that tend to, to be function better in the morning and be a little happier in the morning, some of the night owls don't necessarily appreciate that when they come to work. But the morning folks are aligned. They go to bed earlier and on time, will have a better routine, have better sleep health habits, and then get up early, function better in the morning. A, a big issue here is the night owl folks is getting them aligned in a way that their day-to-day -day function works better with their biology. So if you are a night owl, if you intrinsically and biologically are better at night, but yet you have a morning or day job, it is uh, it does cause you to be significantly less happy, per se. Even in the day, if you're working a day shift. Exactly okay. right. So night owls should try to work nighttime hours, is e that what you're e saying? Exactly, or okay. shifts that are like the second shift. And so part of what we're seeing and starting to advise some our patients and sometimes even employers is to start to have these conversations at the hiring so that you can start to align folks biology with what the work requirements are. It, it doesn't work all the time, but when it does work, it's very gratifying, for, especially for that employee, employee and employer. Okay, is it possible for a night owl to actually become a morning person? It is very difficult. I don't want to say it's impossible, but it's very challenging. It takes a long period of time. That said, some of the people that are either night owl that are night owls, some of that has happened through behavioral, mm -hmm. and so especially the, in young children like adolescents, college students, and and people in their twenties. You were talking a little bit about that. They tend to biologically push back their sleep times, and sometimes, and that's that's intrinsic to us growing up during that period of time. But at times, it can go overboard. And you'll see someone who should be going to bed at 11 or midnight or 1 in the morning because they're in college start to go to bed at 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning. That becomes damaging. And that we can fix and we can help them by teaching in them the right things and using light therapy to move them back. Any tips for becoming a night or a morning person if someone was a night owl and wanted to do that? The key is morning light. That'll help set your bedtime. Getting a nice, structured bedtime, winding down, and remember, common sense, your mother and grandmother were right, avoiding caffe caffeinated beverages. Now, we've talked about this in the past, computers, technology, getting all that out of the bedroom several hours before, doing your exercise a few hours before bedtime, all that good health, that will help move your circadian or body's biological clock. All right, great. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Dr. Joseph Ogile, CEO of the Clayton Sleep Institute. Mike Roberts, are you a night owl or a morning person? You know, I, I when I'm up, once I'm up and running, I actually really do enjoy being up in the mornings, but I have to default usually to being an evening evening person, Kay. Interesting. I'm a morning person, so, you know, I guess it all worked out okay because I work a day shift, which I love. I know. Okay.